Well, good morning, Mojo. What do you know, buddy? So in the last video, we've just been focusing on the new pup, Cora, and everybody said, what happened to Mojo? What happened to Mojo? Well, guys, don't worry. Mojo's still here. And uh, if you guys remember, Smeagol jumped up on me. He's still here, too. He's a good boy. He's been hunting this morning. But yeah, Mojo's still here. Nothing's wrong with Mojo. Grace is still here. All the animals are still here. We just added another one because we love our animals. And if you guys have been following us, you know that we have the coyotes and the bobcats and everything else around that is a threat to our goats. So adding another livestock guardian dog is just another form of security for our animals, the chickens, ducks, geese, whatever we want to raise here. So I ended the last video, I told you guys, hey, I'm not gonna go out to the Pico pen because it's super windy and I don't think you guys can hear me very well. So that's where we're starting off today. So everybody is out kind of doing their thing, grazing. I've got a surprise for you guys today. You can see they're all running, I think I got food. Guys, it's morning time, it ain't dinner time. But right over here, I'm gonna show you a new baby goat. That is Cammy and her new baby girl. She's got the frosted ears that hang way down. And uh, that's, a, that's one of the new surprises. She had a beautiful single baby girl. And then we still got a lot of other babies all around. Bambi's babies and I think, so Bambi's naturally pulled, you guys know that. And I think her baby, okay, hold on. That baby is gonna be, this one here, he's already got horns. So how weird is that? One baby's gonna be pulled and one baby's gonna have horns. <laughs> All right, so let's go take a look. I've got something cool to share with you guys. And uh, you guys remember, we decided to let Ghostface out the other day. Well, I didn't get to show you guys the other day, but <laughs> her cat, once she got out, she got super excited. I mean, she was running on, with her cat. She was just acting crazy, eating grass, enjoying the sunshine. Some of the other goats kind of, you know, they were kind of button heads a little bit, but nothing too bad. But it was the craziest thing because they all took off and we ran down the hill to go graze. And uh, Ghost Ice took off right behind them running. And it really scared me because her leg just didn't look right. Well, that caused the cast to kind of start coming apart and all that. So we went ahead and took it off because it started rubbing her shoulder. So now she's back in the turkey pen and her leg. How are you feeling today, sweetheart? Hmm? How are you feeling today? Your leg hurt? Don't put your leg up there. Hey, hey, hey don't do that. All right, hold on. Let me get in there. I don't want her jumping up on there with her bad leg. So you can see her knee's a little bit swollen, but she's putting weight on it. She's walking on it. Every once in a while, she'll kind of lift it up because it is still tender. Um, when your leg's in a cast for a month, or you know five or six weeks you kind of lose your muscle control and stuff because you're not using those muscles anymore so it's going to be really weak and tender for a little bit so she's kind of got to build those muscles back up she hates when these goats come over here so i'm not going to stay over here too long because like i said they all think we got food and we don't but we've been giving her hay alfalfa food she's got water she's good to go she's got her baby boy in here i'm not quite ready to let her out yet I want to see her putting a little more weight on it and walking just a little bit more before we just let her out because you guys know goats, they like to jump and play and run and they're just goats. So, and let me show you, this goat right here, she can be kind of mean, no, it's not that one. Hold on, I just seen Cammie's little baby right underneath my feet. Cammie, you're a good mom. Hey little, hey, little girl, come here, hey. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Look, you got the baby. I hear Lisa keep barking. All right, so here's the new baby. I'll let you see your mama in a minute. I want to show. I want to show you off to everybody on the uh, social media here. How about that? Oh, you giving me sugars? And then I got someone scratching their head on my leg. Oh, shadow. All right, here. I'll set you down. And go get your mama. Said, oh, mama, I'm so thirsty. Some stranger just grabbed me. Yes, that's your baby, Cammy. Cammy said, get away from my baby. <laughs> All right, so 
Surprise number two has to do with Millie, and that's what today's video is pretty much going to be about. And we'll go check up on Cora and Lisky here in just a minute. But guys, Millie is doing awesome. She's a little bit lonely right now. Come here, Millie. Come here, girl. You want to talk? Huh? You want to talk to people on YouTube? Come here. Good morning, Millie. We got a surprise for you today. I think you're going to like it. You like surprises? I know you're lonely, so guess what? She said, what? <laughs> we might have a friend for you, Millie. What do you think of that? You think you'd like to have a friend? Or what about a couple friends? That even better? Huh? Several friends? Have a party? Huh? You want to have a party? All right. Well... Here in just a little bit, we'll have a little party, okay? <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to show you guys something here in just a minute. Let's just keep this camera rolling. Shadow, don't be a pain today. Alright, so we got the Sebastopol Goose Millie, right? She's a three-month-old female. She's all alone, and nobody likes to be alone. So, uh, Rachel and I have been actively looking on Facebook and on online, Craigslist, whatever, where people sell animals and everything else. So before I show you the new surprise, there's Princess's baby. I can't remember if I showed you guys. I think I did. Yeah, I showed you guys. You can see that's the peanut butter kid. <laughs> he's, a, he's a beautiful brown with some black spots all over him. He's huge. Princess, you did a good job. Oh, don't be a touch me not. All right. Back to the goose story. So Rachel and I have been looking for more Sebastopol geese. Well, we finally found some. And uh, we already have them. I have not videoed it yet, so you guys are getting the uh, first look at the new geese. So let's just walk over to the shop, take a little look at some of the stuff going on. I seen the bees were out this morning. They are very active. We had our hopefully last frost of this spring. Blackberry bushes are coming in, uh, getting some foliage on them. <clears throat> Wild plum trees or sand plums, whatever you guys want to call them. These trees are still doing their thing. <coughs> Smells wonderful. Randy's over there underneath the trampoline. So let's go to the shop and take a look. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move the chicken tractor, the new aluminum chicken tractor we got. Rachel and I is gonna put the top on it here in just a little bit. And we're gonna make a new house for Millie and her friends. So I wanna show you guys something real quick if I can catch it on camera. Oh, it just flew off. But you guys remember the birdhouse I showed you the other day? I think that's my USA flag birdhouse. There are Eastern bluebirds using that blue uh, house and they, uh, the hen, or the girl, female, whatever, she's been laying eggs in there. And I think she might be sitting on them. So, Rachel had to get Smeagol away from there the other day because he was sitting there watching them. All right, you guys ready for the reveal? <laughs> Cora is over there on the rock. So, I know a lot of you people uh, that watch our videos noticed this weird sound right here. That is when I zoom in and out. I don't know why this Sony camera does it. I'm gonna be shopping for a new one, but you can see, Cora has claimed that rock that Leesky likes to uh, sit on. She now sits on it all the time or lays on it. All right, big reveal. There you go, geese. So we don't just have one Sebastopol goose. We now have five. <laughs> And these are all supposed to be girls as well. So these are supposed to be geese. Come here. Come here, little goose. Come here, little goose. They're usually friendly when you come out. They'll eat out of your hand. And uh, we have this temporary little setup here in the shop because, like I said last night, it actually froze. We got a pretty heavy frost or a slight freeze. And, uh... These babies are only three weeks old and they look like giants. But as you can tell, they mostly just have down. They don't have a lot of feathers yet, so they don't have a real good way to stay warm. Come here and talk to me. You're on camera. Don't be shy. 
you guys are just gonna lay down now but uh, we did our best um, the person we got this from did their best to sex them uh, vent sex them supposedly these are all supposed to be females but no guarantees of course but we got them a couple nights ago and they've been in the shop and today is going to be the day they join Millie and hopefully they all get along so Millie will have a friend or in this case several friends and that's not it we still have two gander sebastopols coming from a hatchery um, i think they're going to be here next week so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you guys want to keep up with that and uh, we'll have some well i say baby geese they're only going to be like a day old when we get them and uh i'm eager to see how actual small they are because geese eggs are actually pretty large but uh, I've never I've never hashed any of this breed of geese, so I don't know how big the babies are. But we still got three eggs in here. I need to candle them. I don't know if they're doing any good or not. Um, this incubator, I hatched seven of the Polish chicks out, the chickens, and it did fine. But the geese eggs, several of them weren't fertile, and then uh, some some of them just got rotten. Yeah, good morning to you too. Come here, let me touch you. Oh, you're so soft, so soft. So soft. Take a look at the uh, Polish chickens. You guys are growing good. Look at all their little haircuts. There's some funny looking chickens for sure. All right, so here in just a little bit, Rachel's gonna come out and uh, help me get this chicken tractor ready. And when I say ready, oh man, it's bright out here. When I say ready, all we got to do is put the top on it so it come with the, like a canvas tarp or just a really heavy tarp i don't think it's canvas but that'll go over this and then we'll have to get some kind of anchors to keep this thing uh on the ground because you guys know how this oklahoma wind gets and uh yeah this thing's super light because it's all aluminum but it's easy to wheel around it's got a handle right here we'll pull it we'll show you guys all that here in a little bit we got to get the top put on get the uh, feeders and water set up and then sometime we gotta go shopping for a kiddie pool so i'm not gonna go bother cord and Lisky yet we'll wait for a little bit later until we feed but we'll be sure to get them on this video so let's go see if rachel's ready i know millie is ready to uh get some friends so we're gonna get this done as soon as possible it is a beautiful day hopefully tomorrow we can work in the garden and get some of that done we've been kind of putting it off but i think we're out of our last frost date just have to wait and see all right we're ready all right we're ready skeeter's ready you must come out and enjoy the sunshine and play some ball rachel's ready hey guys all right so i already showed them millie and millie said she was ready for a friend and i said what about a few friends her eyes got a little brighter and i said what about several friends and she smiled <laughs> you're full of it <laughs> no she really did she knew what i was saying all right so we're gonna get this on i already showed them the geese inside and revealed the the new ones so the big reveal yep and uh we're just gonna get this top on there and roll this thing over there so All right, so we got the top on, but Smeagol's keeping us from getting the rope. The one last thing done. What are you doing? You are you are such a mess. He's ornery. Skeeter, come here. You need to keep your deputy in check. You know that? Sure, he's, he's, your deputy he's is He's playing on the job. Playing. Tell him. <laughs> Get to work. <laughs> really? Can't get nothing done with these two. <laughs> Oh, They're so ornery. Tell them, Skeeter. They go Tell to your patrol. All right, let's pull this thing over there. Smeagol said he's going to try it out first, though. Yeah. 
He's in there. He's wait. Wait. Do not put it down. Okay, he's out. Yep. You too. Yeah. <laughs> can't get anything done with that guy. We're gonna have to get a longer rope and we'll just use the blocks that are over there for the anchor. Because we are in Oklahoma and we do have to anchor things. Today's the first day where we're actually, you can probably hear us on the mic okay. The last few days we couldn't, I mean it was crazy wind. Crazy, crazy. We didn't do any projects hardly at all outside because we're just we ridiculous. Hear, we yeah, that was crazy. Uh oh. This is gonna be uh interesting we're to get a pizza. Go ahead and feed. I don't know. Maybe once they figure out we don't have food. No, because I want out. If you don't have food then they'll just run out the gate. Uh oh. There's another one. He's coming to see what's going on. Well, it's easy to pull this, at least. Uh, yeah, it's way lighter than that one over there. Yeah, and the wheel system works pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, let me go get a bucket of food. That rolled real easy. And that's not level ground. <laughs> what do y'all think? Uh, we're hungry. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go get a bucket real quick. Okay. All right, scoot over. Scoot over. <laughs> for everybody. Yourself, huh? Well, yeah, it's not heavy. Well, here, let me video you. I gotta go feed the rest of the ghost ones. Watch out, chickens cleared away. Watch out. <laughs> so I was thinking we could put it over here by the light pole where it's still close enough <laughs> to the water and the electric, and then we can kind of see. Park the front of it to the house. Okay. You got it? You're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ghost, I got you some food too, girl. And your baby boy, whatever his name is. <laughs> you hungry? Huh. She said, well, everybody eats breakfast, don't they? Alright, come here. There you go. You don't get the orange bucket. All right, we'll be back later. What are you doing? I'm in on the other side. Trying to go through a tight squeeze or what? I wanted it in between. No, we're gonna move it every few days. Nope, hold on, you're about to hit the fiber. Keep going straight. Straight, straight, straight. Now you can turn it. Too much. Too much, too much. What do you mean too much? You're gonna oh. hit the wheel. Kind of turn it a little more. That way. Okay, now I'll cut it. Now I'll cut it. Like that? Yep. Okay, now put the wheels down. What do you think? How you put the wheels down? Just pull that back. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Is it level? I don't know. Probably not. Uh, we can move it back a little bit. Our ground is not level. We'll move it back a little bit. There's a little dip right there. Not bad though. Nope. Can't do that. <laughs> the back's dug in. I got this set to where it's kind of just barely off the ground. I can take those off and drop it down lower, but. A little more, a little more. All right, that's good. It ain't gonna be perfect anywhere we put it, but. We have too many holes out here. 
All right, do you want to get Millie first or the four? Um. Let's get Millie real quick while we're here. I don't know. I think she'll appreciate it. Millie, it's time. She said, I know what you're doing. She said, I see my new house and I'm ready. <coughs> don't get in the water, we're fixing to get you. You wanna grab her or don't me to? Here, I'll get her. She's probably wet. Millie, girl. You gonna go see your new house? Oh, oh she's screaming with excitement. <laughs> she screamed with excitement. Close that door. Or get her food. Get her food bowl. Just grab her food bowl. And then they go. It don't matter if she goes to get in there or not. Ew. So looky here, guys. This is old Millie. She says, what do you got for me? You're a pretty girl and you're so soft. She's pretty friendly. And you got beautiful blue eyes. All right, let's go see your new house. Ready? But this is only the first surprise. We've got another one. Yeah. We're going to have a party. Party time with Millie. Party time with Millie. All right. Oh, she can't even wait. She's so excited. Here. Actually, that's a bad idea. I'm going to move this in the middle so the goats won't try to get it. Yeah. All right, let's go get them little ones. We may have to take that bar off. She's tall. Yeah, we can. So, yeah, let, that's designed for chickens, and she's pretty tall. We can take it off. So we can take that off. We thought we might have to. All right, let's go get some other ones. All right, you guys ready to go meet Millie? Let's go get some outside action, get some sunshine. Hold on. One at a time. Oh, this one's all wet. Oh, oh, oh that's fast. What do you think? He's like, what in the world are y'all doing? Okay, your first ra wagon ride. They finally get some sunshine. Now they're quiet. Now they're calm. And Smeagol says, ooh, what kind of snack is that? <laughs> A little big for him. <laughs> He's just clearing the way for you, Dad. Aren't you, Skeet? He's doing his job. Do you like their wagon run? I think so. I can't wait to see the new house. They like the gorilla cart. All the goats are staring at Millie. <laughs> they said, what in the world is in our field? Mojo, are you coming? Mojo's wanting to come. We gotta, we gotta wait on Mo. Good boy. Good boy, Mo. I don't have your food yet. Millie says, I hear that. That sounds all too familiar. Look, here. Millie, are you ready? Hopefully she doesn't get mean because they are just babies, but she's still only three months, but they're a little bit smaller. Oh. 
What do you think, Millie? You gonna be nice to him? This might go good or bad, I don't yeah. know. It might be living back in the shop, who knows? I gotta go get some swim pool in the water. <laughs> Billy <laughs> said, I thought you were getting friends. I'm not, I'm not here to babysit. Oh, well, they like grass. Their first time seeing grass. Look at her. She's like... And then he said, are you my, my kind? She said, this is how you eat. <laughs> oh, they're spreading their wings. Millie's still checking them out. It's okay, Millie. They're here to be your friend. Oh, they found the grass. They love the grass. They got them low. Is that grass good? Huh? Millie's still like... Be nice. Oh. It'll take them a little time to get used to each other, but I don't think she's going to be too aggressive because she's not that old. It's <laughs> going at the end. Millie said, I'm the boss. Just remember that. <laughs> what do you think, Mill? You know? This is our first experience with geese and... Well, I had geese when I was like 18 years old. Okay, you did, and I didn't like them. Those were African geese and they were very mean. They tried to eat me every time I come over. Yeah, these, uh, they love the grass. Look at that. First time outside. Millie said, y'all ain't too bad. You're a little noisy, but I can get used to the company. <laughs> she's, she's sure watching them. I just, I was very frightened of having geese. Well, these are a very docile, quieter type of goose than, like, your standard they're called sebastopoles, right? Yes. And they're, they're not like apples. your standard African geese that you see that's well, that I had terrible experiences with as a child. I remember one time when I was a kid, we went to a neighbor's house and she had a huge pond out front and all those African geese. And I thought, oh, I'm going to get out of the car and I'm going to go pet one. Well, I thought wrong. It chased me <laughs> it, all the way back to the car. They don't. And the car window just happened to be open, and it was nipping at my rear the whole time of biting me. Yeah, they're not very And friendly. I jumped through the car window and dove in, and I did not like geese from that point on. <laughs> these are a little different. And we'll these see. have been precious. You have a visitor behind you. I do. Yeah. Smiggle. Oh, he wants in here, huh? So, Smiggle. these, I actually, I have fell in love with these. Because they are just precious. So, what we'll do tonight is we'll go ahead and put a heat lamp in here. Um, I'll hang a heat lamp off one of these roosting bars. Just in case they do get a little um, chilly, they can just kind of snuggle underneath that heat lamp. That's why I wanted it next to this electric pole over here. Yeah, because I don't have, like, their feathers in, yeah. like, Millie has hers in. So I'm going to go get Millie's water bowl, and then I'm going to get a shallower water bowl. That way they can get in there if they want to. Good idea. All right. Got their food, their water. Just got to get the heat lamp and the extension cord. We'll do that later. But for now, everybody's settled in. Millie's happy. Got to get that bar off of there, though. Yeah, we don't want a well, clothesline in there, so. No. But there you go. They're all... They're all they are tearing this grass up like they absolutely love the blades of grass sticking up this is their first time ever being outside we got some nice sunshine today warmed it up quick now they're eating their food oh look at her stretching oh millie stretching her leg <laughs> what in the world are you doing showing off millie she said look how big my legs are yeah she's like look at my muscles Alright, where did Mojo go? Everybody keeps asking about Mojo. So look at this, guys. This is what Mojo does. A lot of times you see him, he's sleeping on the porch. And other times, he's guard dogging. And we don't always show this on camera. He does an excellent job. Excellent. And at nighttime, you can almost always guarantee he's out here. 
We are very blessed with some awesome livestock guard dogs. Leesky is awesome. Mojo's awesome. Everything okay, Mo? He's just watching. Everything okay? You just en you just enjoying the pretty scenery, huh? You just enjoying that pretty scenery? Good boy. Enjoying the sunshine today. So Mo's sitting over here on the hillside. He likes coming over here and just kind of taking in the beauty and the nature. These rolling foothills of the Ozark Mountains. And then you got Smeagol. What are you? You better watch it. <laughs> There's old Smeagol. But guys, Mojo's doing awesome. He's just, uh, he's just one of the other guard dogs on the farm. Nothing wrong with him, nothing else. We didn't get Cora because we got rid of Mojo. I know he wasn't in that video. Everybody was worried, saying, oh no, what happened to Mo? He's still here. He is our alpha guard dog. He's the oldest. Smeagol's over here chasing bees. He's about to get stung. Hey, those bees sting, buddy. What'd you catch? Oh my. He just ate a bee. He caught a bee and ate it. Don't be eating the honeybees, goofball. All right, let's go see Cora. What are you doing? Mojo come to check out the geese. What do you think about the geese, Mo? He likes them. He likes all the animals. He said, I love my farm family. Don't you? Who's under the tractor? Oh, Mr. Smeagol. All right, Rachel's got the dog food. I got the goat food slash duck food. It's... You guys know I don't, we're not feeding the ducks anymore. I just give them a handful because it keeps them coming up here. And pretty soon we're gonna have some female ducks. We're gonna have to catch these guys and get rid of a few of them. So here to come. Please keep mama's got your food, buddy. Routine, I guess. Oh, Elle's always the first one to greet me. Right, Elle? You're the fastest, I guess. Nothing harder than trying to feed and hold the camera at the same time. All right, let's go see Cora real quick. Lisky, come on, let's go eat, buddy. Mama's got your food. All right, the water's full. So we're feeding them dry food, a can each, and I think we put two eggs in there today. They really enjoy the wet food. And when I say wet, it's still dry food, but the eggs and the can of soft, wet food just makes it soft and wet, and they prefer that for some reason. All right. At least he just prefers snuggles. Snuggles. All right, eat your food before them goats come. So currently, Rachel and I stand guard. Current, you know, you, you've seen the past videos. The gate's still open. The goats has kind of gotten a hint, I believe. 
that they're not going to get dog food because as soon as they're done eating, we take their food. But tomorrow, hopefully, we can get the uh, dog food station, whatever you want to call it. What are we going to call it? The dog feeder? It's called a, a dog feeding station. As well, I thought guardian dog feed station. Yeah. We'll get that out here hopefully tomorrow and get that set up. We got to go to town here in a little bit. I'm having a hard time finding the 50 pound dog food, automatic dog food feeder. So it holds 50 pounds of food. You just set it there. They can have 24 seven access to food, eat as much as they want. And uh, that's what I'm waiting for to finish the uh, dog food station, whatever you want to call it. I might have to call it something because I keep saying it different. Feeding station. Feeding station. There you go. Dog feeding station. Just a feeding station. But as you can see, I mean, uh, Cora and Leesky, Leesky hasn't been aggressive. He he got aggressive like one time with her and kind of growled at her. And I'm sure it'll happen more. But for now, I mean, they're being really good friends and they're playing every day. Everything is going good. We'll have more. Leesky's doing a fantastic job. Uh, we'll we, talk more about yeah. a lot of that tomorrow. Well, on the next video you see, yes. we'll go into more detail, but he has been doing excellent with her. We're very proud. Yeah, they're going to have to make sure they're subscribed so they can see yes. if Leesky can even fit in the dog feeding station I just built. But I, I do have a secondary plan if he does not. Always a secondary and a third dairy and fourth dairy. Third, third dairy? <laughs> But yeah, there's Miss Miss Cora. She's got her first vet visit coming up. Um, I don't know if we if we'll record any of that or not, but we'll try to vlog some of it and see how that goes. Her and actually uh, her and Skeeter are going at the same time. They're both due for shots. She's got to get her rabies shots and her puppy stuff. The current uh, breeder that we got her from. They kept her up to date on all the wormer and all that stuff. And then uh, tomorrow we also have to uh, treat everybody for ticks. So yep. we're gonna have to break out. Oh, we're gonna have to break out a lot of stuff. The next video, guys, we'll show you guys what we're gonna do. Uh, you guys can see we live in a very wooded area here, so we got a lot of we got a lot, a lot. I can't talk. We got a lot of wildlife: squirrels, rabbits, possums, coons, yeah. deer. And they carry external parasites, which are Coyotes. like lice, fleas, <laughs> uh, ticks, and these guys, they get bad diseases from that stuff. So our next video, we're going to cover everything, how we take care of all our livestock, our goats, chickens, yep. dogs, everything. So be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed yep. and stay tuned to our next video. Because it's going to be very helpful. Uh, some of the stuff we've used for a very long time. Some we implemented last year and have been very successful with it, but that is, yes. like Kevin said, the next video is to yep. come. So, so make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss that. And what do you guys think about Millie and uh, the four, what are we gonna call them? The I'm quartet. Gonna, the quartet. Millie and the quartet. I've gotta let the, the kids name some of yeah, them. Yeah, we will, here they come. So, uh -oh. so, all right guys, so we gotta get on a guard dog food watch duty. So uh, we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you guys. Like this video, leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time. See you guys.